A resume a mile long. Two-time Hall of Famer. One of WWE's most dominant champions. He is immortal. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Venice Beach, California. Weighing in at 303 pounds. The immortal. Hero to generations, a beacon of hope to young Hulkamaniacs like uh, one Brian Kelly. Oh, I know that guy. Hulk Hogan created an entire paradigm shift, transcends sports entertainment, and Hulkamania continues to run wild here tonight. Headliner of the first eight WrestleManias. Count them, eight. Well, check out those pythons, Cole. It looks like Hulk's ready to headline eight more WrestleManias. Let's see, I said my prayers, I took my vitamins this morning. Guys, I think I'm on the right track. I think someone's about to get flattened, guys. And his opponent, from the land of the rising sun, weighing in at 558 pounds, Yokozuna! Success in the sumo arena only topped by his WWE success, Yokozuna. This man once held the WWE title for nearly 300 days, and I think he could easily repeat that success again. Man, look at the size of Yokozuna. Even more impressive than his sheer size is his ability to move around the ring like no one else. A horrifying blend of size, speed, agility, and power. Can't get psyched out, you must attack the Hulkster. You can feel the electricity fill the air when Hulk Hogan's in the ring. Hulkamania is running wild, Michael. You'd be hard-pressed to find anyone in the WWE locker room who hasn't been influenced by Hulk Hogan. He's the perfect combination of charisma, physique, and power. Truly a living legend. Well said, Byron. I expect Hulkster's power is going to be on display here tonight. But more than ready for him across the ring is a man who lives and breathes domination and destruction. Yokozuna. One of the most devastating forces in the history of WWE. Yokozuna is on a mission to run roughshod over the entire roster. And right now, he sees someone standing in his way. I've been witnessing. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. No, he gets the shoulder up. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Oh, with authority. You know, Corey, some could say that Hulk Hogan is somewhat predictable when the bell rings. Do you think it would be wise for him to possibly change things up tonight? Absolutely not, Cole. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Don't fix what ain't broke. The Hulkster knows what he's doing here. The Hulkster should stick to his patented offense tonight. Rapid fire Samoan drop. 
Just caught flush. Yokozuna turning up the intimidation factor. Whoa, stiff headbutt. Uh-oh. And a suplex. Into the corner now. Yokozuna uh -oh. in full control. Dragging him to the corner. This is going to be bad. I hope the ropes hold up. Oh, bonsai drop. Yokozuna has him on Dream Street. No, oh, my, that was close. We've seen Hulkster endure a lot in his career, but all the hardships don't seem to matter. Hulkamania still lives. I don't think anyone inside this building was expecting a kick out after that move from Yokozuna. Counters that, and he goes into the ring. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. And Yokozuna is really putting the pressure on. Yeah, Yokozuna just can't be stopped now. Larian. from the Hulkster. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. And the pitch. Uppercut. And Yokozuna got caught cold there, not the way he planned it. Yeah, it looks like Hogan is feeling the power here. Punch connects. And we know that look well, gentlemen. It says, what you gonna do? Not allowing that to go on any longer. And what a throw that was. Oh, God. I just saw the faces on the attendees in the front row turn to stone with that look from Yokozuna. Stop in the leg. Hoping to end it here. And only gets a one count. Not quite enough to put him away. Getting tossed around. Oh, look at just... Oh, the claw, not to the face! Where else would they do it, Saxton? Flapjack! Gosh, landing face first. No mercy being shown to Hogan here. Hulkster's in a disheartening position. Yokozuna delivered that attack with pure annihilation in mind. Hogan out of the way in time. There's a slam. We know what comes next. Big leg drop, brother. Yokozuna looks out of it. Is it enough? The cover! Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. A behemoth like Yokozuna kicking out of that? That's to make you wonder what it'll take to keep him down. And Hogan's flabbergasted. He's put legends away with that very same move, but not that time. We continue to see incredible perseverance from these competitors. The war continues to rage on with no superstar willing to give an inch. Just hot shot it to the outside. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. And he finds an answer for the Hulkster. Getting tossed. The wind up and the pitch. Uppercut. And Yokozuna seems to be wavering after that. We talk a lot about Hogan's power, but as this match continues, we're seeing the depth of his stamina, too. And he tosses him back in now. Close line! Oh, perfect kick. He's going to the pin. This could be it. Head to the pay window. Breaks the count. I mean, you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. The boom! It's over! The Hulkster hitting that with a shocking amount of force. There's the arm ringer. 
followed by the leg drop. And Hogan's finding the momentum in this one. And this is the result of that patented Hulk Hogan offense. Hulk knows what he's doing here. Yokozuna's pushing back now. But Yokozuna still has to do more to get this fully in his favor. Up and over, all the way to the floor. No quit whatsoever, raining down elbows and escaping the bear hug. And Hogan shaking off the effects of this matchup to mount some offense. You know that Hulk has to be... The Hulkster with a body slam. We know what comes next. The leg drop. The Hulkster could have this one. Cover. Near fall. Tremendous power from Yokozuna on that kick out. The big man is clearly far from done. And no doubt Hogan has found a groove in this match. He can't become discouraged now. We're at a vital stage in this matchup, and this audience is fully aware of it. Yeah, they know another turning point can come at any second, and that can be the instant that ends it all. And this one might be headed ringside. Stop. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. He's got the answer for that one. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. the back. That's nasty. Oh, man. They do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. Oh! Taking out the arm. Great strategy. Fought back with a punch to the gut. Right to the kidneys from behind. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Oh, look at the power of Hogan. Scoot furiously trying to fight his way out of the bear hug. Can he do it? Yes. Oh, like a brick wall running into you. Oh, what a nasty knee lift. Yoko says this one's over. Standing bonsai drop. Hulkster's got to dig deep now. Oh, he got him with a win. Here is your winner, Yokozuna. Here's your winner after a truly intense match. This was a grueling match both physically and mentally, but to the victor goes the spoils. Ready for the matchup, very confident oh. from behind. Someone was a bit worried about this matchup. So much so, this competitor had to deliver a cheap shot. And that could create some disastrous repercussions for this competitor moving forward in this match. Because if you can't walk, you can't fight. Finally, these superstars have made it to the ring after a vicious surprise attack while entering. 
Certainly not how I thought we'd be starting this match. Yeah, it's just a little friendly warm-up before the match. There is nothing friendly about jumping someone when they're not looking, Corey. HBK, high risk. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Up high, all the way to the outside. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring, there is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Whoa, who can recover from that? I'm not sure anyone can. Back to the ringside area he goes as the referee continues to count. Just listen to the crowd roar. They're all about this. Not every day a match finds its way right into your lap. Knew what was coming there. Oh, that'll rattle you. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Giving the people what they want up close and personal. Uh, yeah, but someone could seriously get hurt here, Michael. Boom. What an uppercut. Haymaker connects. Oh, jarring uppercut. This has all been boiling over and it's officially spilled out into the crowd. And I get wanting to get your hands on someone bad, but they could do this in a less unpredictable environment. Uncorks an uppercut. Not looking good for Shawn Michaels here. This is absolute bedlam right now. Brawling in the crowd amongst the unwashed masses. This is only going to get worse. Boom. Catches an uppercut. What a shot. Boom. Oh, chip breaking uppercut. WWE fans getting a meet and greet they did not sign up for. Bringing the action back to the ring now. Might be a good time for someone to turn around. Uh-oh, the Hurricane wards that attack off. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. He comes back over the barricade. Oh. Elbow smash. Look at that strength. Oh. Incredible. Well, this crowd is going to have a little company. Careful. Closed fist connects. The action's found its way into the crowd, and there's no telling if and when it could end. There's no strategy to plan for this environment. The Hurricane has knocked some improbable wins before, Corey. How do you think he can do it again? In the same way he did it last time. Heart and talent. Hurricane may be a goofball, but the guy's won championships. He can go, and he can take a beating. So underestimate him at your peril. Oh, man, can someone get control, please? Now would be a good time to vacate your seat. Shifts it back onto him. Overhand connects. Tagged with a punch. Punching their way out of that one. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Oh, these superstars are the literal definition of a danger to themselves and others right now. Overhand right lands. Uppercut. Jarring. Oh, what a right. Man, that's some attitude behind it. Ringside barriers couldn't contain this match. No telling where they'll end up now. Reversal on Hurricane. There it is. Classic HBK being the showman that he is. Quick thinking pays off. Let's go behind. Intensity and anger boiling over, all coming to a head up on the stage. As we can only see, it's only getting worse by the second, Michael. Nice suplex. Vertical suplex. Now here we go. Beautiful swinging neck breaker. There are a lot of ways this can go sideways. Everything on that stage looks like it hurts. Vicious knee drop. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right to the face. My God. Defiant counter from... Oh. 
He grew tired of his smug attitude. He turns it around. Face breaker. Whoa, and now Michaels is showing the effects of this match on his face. Piercing elbow drop. This is a pretty dangerous place to fight. Screens, exposed metal, ledges, so much could go wrong very quickly. Ooh! Hitting the elbow drop. Elbow drop. These superstars are showing no concern for their own well-being. All that matters to them right now is doing as much damage to one another as possible. Go behind, elbow. Baker. Oh, a debilitating elbow drop. And the Hurricane taking on further damage. This is the bottom of the ninth, and you know this is where HBK loves to deliver. Knife edge chop. Facing off at the top of the ramp. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to hurt. Let's go behind. Breaker. Hurricane with an uh, superhuman display of confidence there, but better keep up the pressure. Oh, my. Countered into a bone-rattling uppercut. Plenty of ways to get creative up on the entrance area. Also plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. Laid down with a powerbomb. And he gets the better of HBK. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Oh, the rear super kick. From behind. Nasty. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Carefully placed stop to the arm. This is truly disheartening to watch. These are such talented superstars, unfortunately, resorting to every possible tactic they can think of to destroy each other. When all is said and done, I'm not sure how anyone will truly be able to stand tall coming out of this. And I think we all know nothing good comes of fighting on the stage. Case in point, nothing good happening right now. And a carefully measured knee drop. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Oh, enough already. And the possibility for serious injury just went way up. These superstars are starting to get very imaginative right now. You have to think someone's looking at that stage and getting some dark thoughts. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Uh-oh. Fighting back with a counter. Oh, uh, hangman's neck breaker. Intensity and anger boiling over, all coming to a head up on the stage. As we can only see, it's only getting worse by the second, Michael. Right to the face. My God. Now, here we go. Beautiful swinging neck breaker. Plenty of ways to get creative up on the entrance area. Also plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. <laughs> DDT! Planet. And the possibility for serious injury just went way up. These superstars are starting to get very imaginative right now. You have to think someone's looking at that stage and getting some dark thoughts. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Oh, enough already. Facing off at the top of the ramp. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to hurt. Can't quite get him there. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Oh, look at this. Kicks! Oh, oh man! Good grief! Turn your lights out. This is a pretty dangerous place to fight. Screens, exposed metal, ledges, so much could go wrong very quickly. Michaels with the awareness. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. This fight has made its way to the entrance way. Oh, man, so many things can go wrong now. Shark punch. Boom, right 
the button. And I think we all know nothing good comes of fighting on the stage. Case in point, nothing good happening right now. Uses the edge of the knee. Oh, an inverted atomic drop. Very nice. Ooh, again. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Oh, oh. man, inverted backbreaker. Ow. Elbow drop. Drops an elbow. These superstars are showing no concern for their own well-being. All that matters to them right now is doing as much damage to one another as possible. Dodges out of the way. Shining Wizard finds the mark. Oh, and a stop. This fight has made its way to the entranceway. Oh, man, so many things can go wrong now. Foot right to the belly. Disheartening position for HBK. This is why you can't underestimate the Hurricane. Behind that mask is a ton of heart and talent. He switches it back around. Oh, oh, God. This is a pretty dangerous place to fight. Screens, exposed metal, ledges. So much can go wrong very quickly. Right in the face. My God. The Hurricane is looking to get Torrential on his opponent. Ooh. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Looking for, yeah, the inverted figure four leg lock. The Hurricane just could... to unload attacks. Yeah, impressive offense from the Hurricane. Setting foot in the ring now. And he's taking this to the outside now. Denying the attack from Michaels. The Hurricane is looking to get Torrential on his opponent. Close line! Letting his opponent know respect is earned, and he's still a dollar short. Ah, uh, Sean can't be stopped now. Momentum is the best friend of the Heartbreak Kid. And here's Shawn Michaels now, in the corner, turning up the band. Look at this, sweet chin music! Sweet chin music! The Hurricane's chances are fading. this mask but doing some jaw jacking and wait. oh no steel chair in hand talking okay, about why? a sore sport why why the steel chair what no no, no. <laughs> winning wasn't enough wants to make sure that this superstar never walks again this is sickening
The following is a Tornado Tag Team Match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 663 pounds, Carl Anderson and Vader. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. It is truly anybody's game in this Tornado Tag matchup. It's true, given all the nonstop action we're about to see, it's going to be easy to get swept away in the excitement. Oh, what a close line. And set right into the corner. Oh, huge splash. What a chop. Oh, that'll light up your chest. He's got him scouted. Ooh, DDT delivered. Right to the gut. Ah, oh, clubbing blow to the back. Oh, my lord. Having a hold of the arm. All the weight down. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. Ah, oh, Carl answers back. Pinpointing the leg. He's lost some of his... No! Suicide dive! It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Lots of potential for injury here. And here we go. It's coming. And here we go. Single leg crab. He's got to relieve the pressure. And escapes. Boom! What a forearm. Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. Caught with a punch. And I think, yeah, Vader's bleeding. Up and tap. Can he do it here? Just after two. He really thought that was it. And talk about giving a DDT with authority. Oh, did you hear that? Vader leaves an opening. Oh, ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Crank in the head. No! Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Enable to counter. Ooh. He's showing them what superiority really looks like. Merciless move, bashing your opponent's head like that. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. Quick back elbow detours that offense. Boom! And a big boot. Solely focused on... Ooh, we might be close to the end. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Ah, oh, clubbing blow to the back. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, a good measure. This could do it! Kicks out. I am in 
in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Carl wards that attack off right across the face. Go behind Baker. an efficient form of offense with that move. He is truly feeling it right now, as well he should. Oh, he counters right back on Vader. Jaw-shattering boot, and that definitely made solid impact. Uh-oh. This is right for him. Anderson with the wherewithal to avoid that. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. His defenses have fallen, and soon he may, too. Yeah, this match has not been kind to him. Carl Anderson isn't feeling so hot right now. Expert insight, Byron. Thank you. I oh, had that well scouted. Oh, what a knee lift. The Mastodon with the setup. We know what comes next. That being the end, if Vader lands this. Here it comes. Vader ball. That could bring an end to Nash. Oh, kick out, kick out at two. They say the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Vader's locked up. Ooh, catches him with the cutter. Can that finish Vader? So goes down. And he stops the count for his partner. And this match will head back to the ring. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Oh, he's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh, and a kick out, a kick out, a kick out. Down to the wire. Who's going to give in first? You can see. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Oh, may have sealed things up. STO. Off the ropes, rocket kick. Vicious right forearm. Solid contact from Kevin Nash. Short clothesline hits its mark. Just pounding away. Enough already. There was some power behind that punch. Across the top rope. He'll take things into the ring. Side headlock applied. Oh, a good punch. measure. Cover. Is it enough? Maybe not. The breakup. Hoist it up. Snap suplex. No way. Ah, straight to the floor. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Here we go. You ready for it? Choke slam! Oh! Vader stepping up to the top. To the face. What a redirect. Absolutely chucked by a German suplex. Vader feels the pressure mounting as he delivers there. From the top, Anderson with the gun stun. Nash is in crisis mode. This is it. He keeps his team in the match. And listen to this place. It's deafening in here, Michael. A oh, square shot at the back elbows ends that. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. God, oh, jeez. Oh, tossed aside. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Military press. Ooh. No, 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 that'll break his arm. Vicious. Whipped over in a snap. Here we go again. A cover. Will that stop Anderson? Makes the cover. That'll do it. The victory tonight. Here are your winners. Bubba, Ray, Dudley, and Kevin Nash.
Two great superstars that go great together, and that win is proof. That was some high-level tag team strategy from these two guys. Well done. One of the best superstars around. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York. Weighing in at 275 pounds, The Assassin. And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE could change the entire landscape here. A competitor with his share of detractors, but he wants to prove them all wrong here tonight. The Silent Man has arrived. Dexter Loomis is here. And his opponent, from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 230 pounds, Dexter Loomis. Just the absolute nothingness when you look into Dexter's eyes, it's horrifying. There are sinister plans at work in this man's head right now. The eyes of an artist who will paint a picture of his victims before their match. Competitors dread seeing their image painted by Loomis. I wasn't going to say anything, but Loomis painted Saxton earlier today. He did? Wait, can I at least keep the painting? Sure, if you survive. And we can already see just how focused he is in this one, how prepared and ready he is to take on this challenge. But we've got one strange guy across the ring in Dexter Loomis. A bear hug, squeezing the breath out of him. And you furiously trying to fight his way out of the bear hug. Can he do it? Yes. And that one misses the mark. Close line. <laughs> Stunning display of power. From the top. Elbow drop. Good Lord. Ooh. -hoo. Dexter Loomis, of course, one of the most methodical, most cerebral superstars in all of WWE. No doubt he has a game plan for this matchup. Right, Corey? I think Saxton's more in line with Loomis's wavelength, but I'll try my best to discuss this. Loomis is at his best when he focuses on a single task, whether that's winning or making a suit out of his opponent. 
If he keeps that focus, he'll be unstoppable. Oh, great display of strength with the suplex. He's taking this to the... A bear hug, squeezing the breath out of him. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way... The bear hug cinched in. Gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this, no quit whatsoever. Raining down elbows and escaping the bear hug. Get his press! Now he's been put on the defensive. Oh! Dexter Loomis is, I think, trying to get the crowd involved. I mean, the guy that... Saving us from having to sit through that. Down across the neck. For the win! He got the shoulder up in time. Kicking out now sends a very clear message. Big forearm. Loomis is showcasing his strength. And you can see the focus of Dexter Loomis paying off. His opponent may be heading for a loss, and hopefully nothing worse than that. He turns it around on Loomis. Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh, right across the throat. Not the leg. And that was an effective attack, guys. So much damage inflicted. Nice reversal by Loomis. Oh, what a wind up. Loomis submission hold locked in silence I think he's got it locked in good I just don't he needs to break this submission desperate left hands trying to free himself and he does attack to the mid uh oh dark matter does that finish Loomis is it enough the cover and that will end it Here is your winner, The Assassin. And this one really came down to the wire, but you're looking at the winner who pulled it out. Have all the fun you want, but at the end of the day, this is what it's all about. Winning and making money in that order. comes the chairman, the boss. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 248 pounds, Mr. McMahon. You know, Corey, when sometimes we show up at hotels in different towns at three or four o'clock in the morning, Mr. McMahon's there with his trainer heading to the gym. The physical embodiment of success. The man's got grapefruits the size of small planets and has to feel like a billion dollars stepping into the ring amidst his own creation. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 230 pounds, Paul. This person is a little self-absorbed at times, but the WWE Universe doesn't seem to mind. Well, I think they appreciate someone with serious self-confidence. It sends a good message. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the deal here? I have plenty of self-confidence, and I rarely feel appreciated.
This match has everyone backstage buzzing. He is an exciting competitor to watch. You're looking at a well-traveled superstar who has seen a lot in the ring. With experience comes confidence. There's nothing you can throw at this competitor that could phase him in the slightest. He'll be looking to utilize that wisdom in this matchup. And then there's Mr. McMahon. The boss, the big cheese, the head honcho, the high muckamuck, the top dog, the man upstairs, the taskmaster, the ringleader, and the kingpin all rolled into one. That's just outside the ring. Imagine the type of force he is inside the ring. Big punch finds its mark. Dominating shoulder tackle. Oh, what a kick. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Oh, what are they going to do? Oh, look at this. Look at this power. No way. Oh, that hurt. Corey, I'd ask what you think Mr. McMahon's weaknesses are here, but I know you'd only talk in circles to avoid answering. So I'll just say that I think this match will come down to in-ring experience. Cole, you seemingly don't care about insulting who signs your checks, but... I can't disagree with you there. While Mr. McMahon is certainly an impressive physical specimen who's had some epic matches, our boss hasn't put in the reps that most superstars have. Ah, oh, he knew what was coming. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. He heads outside. Countout's legal in this match. What power! Is it? I guess even Mr. McMahon likes a pop now and then. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. All the way to the floor. He got whipped into that corner. Ooh, what an elbow. The barrage of elbows. A oh, repeated elbows in the corner. He's able to sidestep there. Look at that insult to injury with that one. No, 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 that'll break his arm. Vicious. Kick to the gut. Boom! DDT. Piercing the throat. Solid punch. He's starting to struggle here. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Great counter. So to the stomach. Grabs their opponent by the ankles. Oh, alley power bomb. That might be it. Oh, man, you can see he is feeling it now. Across the solar plexus. What a headbutt. Vicious. Mr. McMahon has lost all momentum. And that's the result of him putting his experience to work against Mr. McMahon. Oh, connects dead on. Cover. Two. Mr. McMahon somehow escaped before the pinfall. Miraculous. Mr. McMahon needs to get his wits about him fast. Is that what it takes to beat Mr. McMahon? Two. He wins. He wins. Here is your winner, Paul. That's the kind of win that can take their career to the next level. You know, guys, I personally don't see this as a loss. Mr. McMahon owns the record books, so I don't think he'll see it as a loss either.
comes the doctor of Thugonomics. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 248 pounds, John Cena. One of the cockiest superstars around, but he's got a bright future. Yeah, as both a rapper and a wrestler. John Cena, with all the tools to be one of the all-time greats. He's really the prototype of what a WWE superstar should be. Here comes the big dog! his opponent from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! You know, Corey, really the bridge between two generations in this match. And Roman Reigns anxious to claim his rightful place at the top of the WWE food chain, but he can't do that without knocking off the top dog, John Cena. You know, when you go throughout WWE history, you think of the different eras and Hulk Hogan followed up by Stone Cold and The Rock. And then of course, John Cena. Is this generation, this era going to be defined by this man, Roman Reigns? Well, John Cena has gone as far as to lay down that challenge to the big dog. Roman Reigns looking to continue expanding his empire. This is the battle between two of the most polarizing figures in WWE history, and it boils down to one thing, respect. Can Cena beat Reigns, or is WWE truly the big... Set to the outside. Looking for his next form of attack. Tope Suicida. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Oh, what a kick. Great trouble here. Can he get it fully locked in? Sleeper holds in. I'm going to tap out here. He's to free himself from the sleeper. Needs to break this submission. Fighting with everything he has. Kick to the cut. Uh-oh! He's one step ahead there. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Punch lands. That is the confidence of John Cena. The confidence you have when you are the face that runs the place. Just a dominant display! Look at this power slam! Look at this, just unloading! That didn't... He can end it here! He's got him! Cena's still in it! Somehow, some way, he is still in this! Oh, forearm to the back! What is it that makes Cena such a unique success story inside the ring? How does he always seem to find the advantage? What sets Cena apart is his ability to shift gears in the middle of a match. Once he shifts into that next gear, and believe me, he will. 
We all know when he does. There might not be any stopping. Power slam! second could be a matter of time submission being locked in he's got it locked in he may not have a chance he's to free himself from the sleeper he needs to break this submission fighting with everything he has setting up for something here straight impact on the throat oh my goodness ah what a smash that is just insulting Enough already. This could be it. Cover for the win. Quick count out after one. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Oh, kick right to the face. Oh, oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. Sheen is starting to look a little worse for wear after that bit of offense. Reigns doing all he can to keep his seat at the head of the table secure. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. Reigns establishing the upper hand. And Roman might just have more in store. Reigns comes up short on that attack. Countered it just in time. What a shot. And he gets set back into the ring. He's going for it all. From the top. Diving elbow drop. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. Three. No. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. This might be one of the greatest rivalries the WWE Universe has ever witnessed. This has progressed far beyond any animal. Superman punch. No coming back from Reigns after that. Shoulders down. You can never say that John Cena doesn't bring everything he has to every fight. Case in point, right there. And after all that, Roman Reigns still has an end to this battle. Cena doing what he can to halter the beatdown. He's trying to bring the fight back in this one. He's taking some good hits. Uh, working on the arm, arm breaker. Oh, and a kick. That was nasty. Now look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Ref, are you blind? Boom! It's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. Reigns is getting dismantled here. Cena. Looking for the AA! And that took Reigns down. Try to end it. How in the world did he kick out there? This match is getting pushed beyond the normal limits. Ooh. Knee strike. This match is brutality starting to show on him. This is what Cena does, finding energy and getting it done. Reigns turns that around. Finally, Roman's able to interrupt these attacks for a moment. Reigns isn't allowing that burst of attacks to throw him off his game. Oh, forearm to the back. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Vaulting plancha, incredible. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. He reverses it. Oh, my goodness. Lining it up. And a right hand to the jaw, my goodness. Oh, Cena got caught with the reversal. Thrown back in under the ropes. For the victory here. Man, what an upset, an absolute upset. I am in 
in disbelief. I still don't know if what we saw was oh. real. That was uncalled for. This superstar has completely lost it. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 237 pounds, the Superstar. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. And here comes one of my favorites. And his opponents, first from Forest Lake, Minnesota, weighing in at 200 pounds, Crimson. Soak it in, Saxton, a true role model ready for action. A uh, role model, really? This superstar says they're about respect, but do you really believe that, Corey? Do you mean, do I actually believe they respect the rules and their opponents? Because the answer is absolutely. He said he'll steal the show here tonight, and he looks more than ready to deliver on that promise. And from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 253 pounds, Chris Ben. This competitor is just way, way too aggressive. They need to do some breathing exercises or something. Unlock the inner peace. I'm a little surprised to hear that from you, Corey. You endorse anyone who brings a little animosity to the ring. Well, maybe sometimes I do, but this is too much. They should dial it back. Do some yoga. A man who always gets a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. A very dynamic kind of match here in this triple threat. Incredible about how just adding one competitor to a match can change a superstar's entire form of fighting. It totally alters their balance. Go from one opponent to two, you have to attack. Kohina clutch, Kohina clutch! Locked in, he breaks the hold. Suplex! Look at this display of power. Overhead, belly to belly. 
sent into the corner. Arm drag. Very nice. And that failed to hit the mark. Sting of the kendo stick, and I do not care for it. Looking to tee off with that kendo stick. Best to get out of his way. Really wrenching it. Kendo stick to the skull. Oh, oh. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. Corey, the tide of a triple threat match can change at any moment. How would you suggest a competitor keep from being overwhelmed when that happens? I don't even know if that's completely possible, Cole. However, one should take advantage of the inherent no disqualification, no count out. Here he goes for the win. A kick out at only one. Still going to take a massive effort to keep him down. Big time power oh. bomb. Dominating shoulder tackle. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Delivered suplex. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. It's the ankle lock. He breaks up the hold. Double arm lock. Yeah, double arm lock. Stop. Getting him into the corner. Got them right in the corner. And the steam. Section. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Top of that turnbuckle is not where you want to be. They're not going to go all the way up there, are they? Or you got to be kidding me. They sure are, and there's nowhere else to go but down. Angle slam. Oh, man. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. No! Oh, oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Got to respect the strategy to work over the arm. Wolf putting their full weight on the arm. Targeting the arm with a big stomp. Look at him seizing the momentum here. Yeah, he's showing no signs of ending this assault. Lights out. DDT connects. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. God, disturbing impact. Able to avoid there. Here comes the setup. Double DDT. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. Oh, the ankle locks it. He gets there a few seconds longer, and this match would have been over. For the win. Race lock applied. Squeezing all the breath out of their opponent. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. This has just been an absolute massacre. Backbreaker. What a lethal combination there. Sledgehammer clearly feeling the power that comes with it. He was waiting for him to make his move. The scoop slam sets things up. Oh, rough landing off the suplex. And out of the ring he goes. Hey, you can't do that. He's been taken hold of. German suplex. Uh-oh. Chop block without warning. 
Whoa-oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Moved at the right time. Scoop slam. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. Has the ankle lock, exerting total control over that joint. And struggling only makes it work. He's flailing, desperately trying to get out of this situation. Oh, great counter. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Targeting the throat there. His opponent is just overwhelming him here. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, please. Ah, shot to the back. He's falling victim here to a charge of attacks. Yeah, he has really hit a brick wall here. Paying it. Does he have him here? He breaks the ref's count before two. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. Oh, man, a callous attack to the knee. Ah, boom, back drop, suplex. What a high angle right across the shoulders. This isn't the smartest thing to do, antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Into the snap suplex. And he landed that at a critical time in this matchup. He is displaying how far his stamina can be tested. He climbs into the ring. Sit down, power bomb. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. To the outside. This could get wild. Neck breaker. Stomp in the leg. Whoa, not quite yet. Belly to belly. Looking for the victory. Two. He kicks out at two. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. You can be... Muscled out all the way to the outside. Look out! Incredible! That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Kendo stick impact! Was ready for that. Caught with the lariat. Oh, he retaliates! Nice amateur takedown, all the way over. Fireman's carry. Nice takedown. Oh, that's just insulting. Hooked up and boom, back drop, suplex. On a high angle, right across the shoulders. He's looking to unload on his opponent with that kendo stick. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Answering back. Ooh, the release on the German suplex. Just launched. Guys, they are getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before and it doesn't end well. Right on the chops. setting up for a submission maneuver. This will win them. And he very quickly counters. Everyone is on their feet in this building. Absolutely showing the respect for all the exertion these athletes are putting each other through. Sledgehammer right to the gut. Got it. Like that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. And more attacks to his core could hinder his offense. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. And he slides him back to the mat. Nice hip toss. 
He knew that was coming. Boom. Nice. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, put down face first. Oh, God. And he gets delivered back into the ring. He wants even more out of his opponent. Oh! Brought back into the ring from the floor now. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Boom! A forearm smack! All the way over. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. Shades of the old EC dub as a kendo stick is introduced to the proceedings. Overhead, belly to belly. Back in the ring now. Oh, double boots. Oh! DDT. Launched with a suplex. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Oh, enough already. Take down. Looking for the cross face. It cinched it. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Oh, thanks, deep arm drag. And this is gone. Here is your winner, the Superstar. What a tremendous effort from all three superstars involved in this hard-hitting triple threat. This was an unpredictable one, but when it was all said and done, only one man could be left standing. One man out of three. It was always bound to lead to a little chaos. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero. And without question, one of the most pivotal superstars in the history of our industry. Now you're right, Byron, a true hero on both sides of the Monday Night Wars. From WCW Cruiserweight Innovator to WWE Champion and Hall of Famer. Living by the lifelong motto, if you aren't cheating, you aren't trying. And he tries harder than anyone I've ever seen in the ring. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 218 pounds, C.M. Punk. This is a competitor who isn't happy with a win unless they get a handshake from their opponent afterwards. A real respect for the business. Can they even work their hands properly? Apparently, they lack a spine.
Putting out Latino heat will elevate this man's reputation to a new level, don't you think? That goes without saying, Cole, because it's next to impossible to achieve. And you can sense the anger emanating from the competitor tonight. Eyes like a blazing fire. This is a man you don't want to be in front of right now. He's a man possessed is what he is. And we know Eddie Guerrero is one of the top competitors in WWE. But my question is, can Eddie remain composed? Or will his emotions take over and get the best of him? Ah, oh, Saxton, please. Eddie Guerrero is a second generation superstar who knows how to channel his energy. The higher the stakes, the more poised Eddie is. Vicious right forearm. Nice shot! Reversal! Can he take advantage? Get back here. Leg Lariat. So what's the move against a guy whose mantra is lie, cheat, steal? Throw an extra pair of eyes in your head for a start. Eddie's always looking for the angles, and more often than not, he finds them. You really look at this slingshot sent on. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. Whoa. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Neck breaker. Whoa. Look at this, just unloading, and a Oof. stop to the gut too. Well, that'll do some serious damage. How did scout it? Letting his opponent know he can take on the world right now. Eddie gets countered. Well, it's not going to be pretty. Go to sleep, GTS. Night, night. Well, that could end Guerrero right now. Oh, and he just kicked out. I don't know where Eddie found the energy to kick out after that. It had to be complete instinct. Listen, that should have ended things. And look at his face. At this point, you have to believe he's losing some faith in himself. Uh-oh. Oh, the reversal by Eddie Guerrero. Reciprocating the initial reversal. He's getting pushed onto the defensive. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. And he's able to counter. Time now for Eddie to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. You can see the emotions now taking over Eddie. Taking him to another level. This is Eddie. Look at the height. Frog splash. Here's Eddie's chance. Amazing. Within inches of victory, only to have it snatched away. This match just keeps getting more and more exciting. And we know Eddie must be feeling desperate right now, unsure of how much more he needs to do. Now, this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. Oh, foot just stomping down. Shoulders down. He's on the ropes. The official sees it and waves off the pen. Shutting that down with the back elbow. Punch right in the head. He's been placed in the corner now. Ugh, wrist lock. And there's more. Up the ropes. Arm breaker. Wow. A ah, jumping stop to the gut. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, oh good night. Sorry. Watch this Herculean power into a back suplex. These competitors have been unloading on each other since the bell. Just looking for that window of opportunity. And now might be the time to seize the moment. Now's the time to keep the pressure on. Heading up, he's thinking big. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Sky high. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Walked out of the air. And that was a well-executed attack. Downward spiral. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. He may be in a bad way here. Yeah, as Eddie once again proves himself to be an absolute student of the game. And he slides him back to the mat. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Right across the larynx. midsection he's getting fired up now really feeding off this crowd drop kick finds the spot oh god take over with a snapmare oh man a face scrape for this boot oh wicked Keith thinks he has it Kicking out in time. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Byron, this looks like an opportunistic comeback here. This superstar. Oh, turning things around in a major way. Can they maintain? Well, it's not going to be pretty. Go to sleep, GTS. Night, night. The, the opening is there for the taking. He kicked out at two. Incredible kick out from Guerrero. Eddie clinging on to life in this match. I think there is still some shock in the air over the fact that that didn't produce a pinfall. The pillars of this building must be crumbling from the energy these fans are putting out right now. These superstars are giving it their all, and this audience is giving it right back. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Dropping the elbow. Elbow finds its mark. And Eddie remains not at all shy when it comes to dishing out damage throughout this match. Look at the height. Give a frog splash. Will Eddie end this? Three, no, a two count. Can you imagine how much escaping that pin must have cost him? I can. These are the moments where you really find out how tough you are. What other option, what other choice does Eddie have now? A desperate Guerrero is a dangerous man. Snapmare. Oh, man, a face scrape for this boot. And Latino Heat is really dialed in right now. Yeah, Eddie just can't be stopped now. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. And the Bulldog. That should do it right there. Man, that has got to feel good. Sweet, sweet victory. Here is your winner, CM Punk. A taxing victory here. Getting it done the hard way. I can't even imagine enduring everything we just saw. This is what it really takes to be a WWE superstar.